Hi guys, welcome to this session on LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how you can use the match and index functions together to create a solution. So what I've got here is some exercises, sit-ups, press-ups, bike up, etc. And the months down this left-hand side. So the numbers in the middle are the minutes that have been completed on each of these exercises in that month. So what I want the index and match function to do is to allow me to select an exercise and a month and it then give me the result. So you can see the result there. So at the moment, this is set to May. So if I change this to January and select the first option of the exercise, sit-ups, it says 12 there and it's saying 12 there. And I've got it repeating here as well. So how have I done this? So first of all, this area in the middle, I have named that data. I have named this area months, and I've named this blue area exercise. I've also named this purple area month, and I've a named this orange area activity. Now, this green cell is called green and in there is a match function and this red cell is called red and there is another match function and then the index function is looking at the two of those and giving an answer and then if I didn't do this all together it would look like that where you've got the index function looking at the data range and needing the intersection. I need a row number and a column number and that's what the match function is doing. It's getting me the row number for the month and it's getting me the column number for activity. That's what it's doing. So all together it looks like that. Individually that's what the match function does. So it's bringing back January is the first month in this list. Sit-ups is the first um, exercise in, in activity. So that's why it's going back 1-1. One, one. So if I change January to June, for example, it's now got sixth month, but still on the first activity. So if I change that to bike up, that's now three. Six months, three. So June, 18. It's coming back with 18, and it is coming back with 18. So to do it, let's just do it, break it down um, step by step. So I'll do these two match functions uh, first. And then I'll name this the cells. So it's equals match, open the bracket. So what it's after is look up the array. So I'll do the, the month. So I'm looking up whatever goes in month. That's C1. Now I've clicked on C1, but I could type there month because I've actually called it month. Look up month, comma, and then I want to look at this list, which is called months. So I've named it, comma, and then the zero gives you an exact match. And then I'll just close that and tick. And I should get six, the same as I've got there, which I have. Now, so that's the row. I'll just put a title in there, row. This will be the column. Doing it the other way now. Column. So equals match open the bracket so now I'm looking for this which I've called activity so I've clicked on it again there but you can obviously type activity activity look at activity comma match it with the blue area which I've called exercise which is this line this row comma, zero, an exact match, close the bracket, tick, and you get three, which is the same as I've got there. So that's the reference. So that's the roll number, and that's going to be the column for the index function. Now the index function equals index, open the bracket. So I need to look, what am I looking at? I'm looking at the area called data, which is the pink area. And then I want the row, which is 6, comma, and I want the column, 
which is 3. Close the bracket, click the tick. 18, same as that, 18. So that's basically how you do it. Now, I then added just the names. I've not named these, so I'll call this, I'll call it row. Let's see if I can call it row. And I'll call this column. So then I should be able to say in there, instead of D20, I should be able to put row. And instead of D21, I should be able to put column. And then tick. And I get the same answer, which is great. It just looks a little bit tidier. So you can call that what you want, really. So that's the index function. So I think it's probably easier to do it like that than have it all as one, because that gets a bit long-winded and looks a bit ugly for people. So that's how you can do the match function to be the intersection for the index function. So hopefully that was of use for you. Thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next one.